If you follow my channel, you know that I'm one of those crazy or fun-loving individuals who likes to drive his cars all seasons. My 2017 M3 has been driven in the snow for the last four years, and I've loved every second of it. I have a dedicated set of winter wheels and tires, but I've taken the car on multiple snowboarding trips. I've driven it uh, during the blizzard, and because of the fact that I usually keep a lot of weight in the trunk during the, uh, the winter months, and because of the fact that the car has limited slip, it's quite easy to drive that car uh, during the winter. But now that I have my 2015 Cayman S as an addition in my stable, I also wanted to make it uh, an all season car. So I picked up these used wheels and tires. Now these wheels came off of a 718 Cayman S. So I'm hoping they, uh, they fit. And I wonder how they fit with or without the spacers. The tire sizes are the same. The wheel offsets are slightly different. So hopefully we'll be, uh, we'll be okay. So the wheels I picked up are these generic wheels that you can pick up on multiple websites. But what I liked about them is that they kind of resemble OEM-ish look of, uh, of uh, Porsche design wheels. And uh, they're paired with this Mission and Pilot Alpin, or Open, Alpin, I'm a foreigner, uh, uh, winter tires, which have plenty of thread left. And then again, I got them for a pretty, pretty good deal. So I couldn't pass up on this uh, opportunity. Now, when you buy these used tires, you have to keep in mind that they will not be perfect. And in my case, there's you know there's a bit of a curb rash here uh, that I normally would worry about if, if, if these were my summer wheels, but since these are the winter wheels that will get beat up, I'm not really uh, too concerned about that. One thing that we're probably going to have an issue with is the tire pressure monitoring system. Apparently, if you go from 981 to 718, the TPMS will not work. I don't know what happens if you go backwards. It might or it might not work. So we'll find out when we get there. A couple of essentials that you owe yourself to get if you're doing any sort of a wheel swapping, not necessarily just winter, just any sort of car maintenance. You need to get yourself proper pucks so you don't damage the body of the car underneath. This is a Porsche puck that I'm gonna put on my jack and that'll allow me to lift it up. I also have this, seriously, get yourself one of these. It's so simple to do a wheel change with a gun like that. Let's get to it. Let's compare the tires. These are virtually brand new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S summer tires, 265 in width. These are the tires that apparently have 1500 miles on them. I don't think that's the case. I would say maybe close to 5,000 miles on them. They still have plenty of thread left. Uh, they should be the same width. So let's see how the width of summer tires that are the same spec compares to winter tires. And actually, if you can see, it is absolutely identical. And before we put the wheel back on, let's inspect what we have here. Uh, I might need to upgrade just purely for visuals uh, my rotors. I think uh, I'm not really happy with the rust. Yeah, I know it happens over time, but I maybe over the, over the winter, it'll be a fun little project. Uh, also take a look at uh, this exhaust, which is starting to show its age. It's only been on the car for a couple of months. Uh, and I know exhausts typically get rusty and, and all of that, but it seems like some of this, this coloration is popping through whatever coating this, uh, this exhaust had. Uh, this is a Sol exhaust. It sounds awesome, so no regrets, uh, but I, I wish it didn't do that. I wish it was a little bit of a higher quality piping. For the install, I'm going to keep the spacers. These are my 12 millimeter spacers front and back. I'm hoping they work well with this offset if they don't, you can always remove them. The moment of truth, I've got to say, it looks pretty legit. Not bad at all. I definitely cannot run it without a spacer. So check this out. Woo. Look at this. Wow, this looks pretty money, like cool kids say. All right, we're going to torque it down later. I'm not going to show you the side look. Uh, we're gonna do the front now. And again, side-by-side -side comparisons. 235 summer tire and 235 winter tire. They both have plenty of thread left. This one again appears to be a little lower, but nothing too, too crazy. And again, 235 width and 235 width. Looks exactly the same. And in the front, 
We also have these rusty calipers. Again, plenty of meat left. It's just over time, they age and they, and they rust. I could paint them, but I feel like it will be a fun project for the winter. Uh, check this out, my mud flaps are working. Look at all the pebbles. Yeah, so this is a good solution. But yeah, nothing to see in the front because you only have your steering components. This being a rear-wheel drive car, there's no drive shaft or anything in the front. And just like in the back, the spacer is back on. It's a 12 millimeter spacer. Let's put the wheels back on. And before you say it, yeah, I know I have to torque down the wheels, but I have to drop it first. So you ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. Let's not forget the puck. Oh, center caps. So what do you think? I think this looks awesome. It still looks OEM-ish, but it still has some meat around it. Here, let me take you for a spin. So, from the side, let's take a look at the poke. Look, with the 12 millimeter spacers, this looks absolutely stunning. It looks like that, and it looks like this in the front. You cannot ask for a better fitment. So 12 millimeter spacers on this OEM offset for a 718 looks fantastic. And just for comparison purposes, the, these are the OEM Carrera wheels with 12 millimeter spacers. So it seems like the Carrera wheels do stick in a little more. So the offset is slightly different and definitely, definitely the front tire doesn't stick out as much as uh, the other one on the other side. So. The winter tire is going to be a bit more aggressive on the offset, but I don't mind. And we're done, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the summer setup that I just took off. I'm gonna wash it now and then put it on a rack so it's ready for the spring. And this is the winter setup. This is this side that you just saw. And let's look at it again from the side because I have to say, this looks really cool. It kind of makes me want to get a set of 19s, I don't know if 20s, for the summer because they look less busy. I'm all about simplicity with this car. So let me know, would you consider five spokes for the summer? And not these, obviously. I want something OEM, but five spoke-ish. That's silver. I think that would actually look killer. So if you have any ideas, uh, let me know down below. But what I like about this setup in particular, and even a 20 inch setup would look cooler, is the fact that Check it out. You can see the calipers very, very well. So there's a lot of that redness poking out and just kind of looks sportier. Whereas these Carrera wheels look more classy and then sporty. I feel like this is much more of a sportier look. What do you think? Let me know down below. But now let's go for a spin. I mean, before we go, I don't think I ever had a winter setup that looked as good as my summer setup, if not better. I'm so impressed with this, I mean, from various angles. I mean, look at this. Don't mind the blue uh, Smurf in the back, but from various angles, this looks so good and so classy. And these are not OEM wheels. These are aftermarket wheels that look very OEM-ish. And look, the center caps fit. Oh, I'm so happy. Before we can depart, we have to adjust the vehicle settings uh, for the tire. So let me just get to it, there you go, TPMS, tire type. We're gonna do 19 winter, bam. No tire, okay, no tire uh, pressure monitoring system, isn't it? Okay, so let's see if the system will learn. So these are 718, so the newer generation Cayman uh, tire pressure monitoring systems. And let's see if they learn on this 981. Okay, so it's still learning. We're gonna take it for a drive. It's supposed to learn as we drive. But by the way, what you're seeing inside will change quite a lot in the next uh, couple of weeks. So uh, stay tuned for that. Well, let's go for a quick spin. So far, no rubbing. Okay, the response, okay, so turn in. I would be lying if I said it was the same. 
it is slightly different it's you, you don't feel that sharpness but I'm only splitting hairs over here it is still great it's still a mid-engine car but you it doesn't feel as direct as with the uh, as with the summer tires but other than that you do notice the difference when it comes to softness these tires do feel a lot softer thus a lot more comfortable I like them this is gonna be a fun tire for the winter months and I can't wait to start driving it more so cool So let's see, the tire pressure monitor system is still learning. If it doesn't learn, that means we have a problem and it's not compatible. Well, let's see, let's pull over again. Here, pa -pa 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 -pa. fill info. Okay, so nothing is coming up from the sensors. I have a feeling we might not have TPMS, but I'm okay with that. This is a winter setup. Traction control kicking in. Let's turn traction control off. Let's see if we can burn some rubber. Pretty sticky. We don't want to go crazy, but yeah, it's, they're pretty sticky. No issue. And yes, I'm going to be so much more comfortable driving on these tires during these cold winter months. It is right now, it's fifth, well, 55 right now, but it was 42 this morning, so it was kind of sketchy. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this winter wheel swap video. At least you know that 708 wheels do fit a 981 chassis. And on that note, I wanted to thank you very much for watching. Let me know which wheels you think are better looking. Whoa! That was a bit of a sketch. Anyways, let me know which wheels you think are better looking. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.